I'm going to show you how to reverse image search anyone on Discord. Before we start, make sure you've installed Google Chrome. It doesn't have to be your main browser that you use, but the program requires it as it uses a Chrome driver, so you're, you're going to need it if you want to use it. First, you've got to go into your, uh, your browser. Do you want to do, get the link from the description? Of course, I don't have the link in the description because the description doesn't exist yet. So I'm just going to find it through my GitHub page. Once you open it up, the, it should look something like this. It might change because I might update it in the README. The little description here explains how to install it on Windows, Linux, my progress, what the color codes are. Those will be important in a minute and the, the different requirements. For Windows, it's just Google Chrome. If you want to see the source code, then you can find it in this folder here. This is the version that we're going to be running. It's uh, if you, you can just run it as a Python file, but you're going to have to install the dependencies, all of these, and you'll need the Chrome driver in the same directory. It's just easier to run the exe file. So if you click on the releases, it should show you the most recent release at the top. This one. You want to download the zip file that is not for Linux. So DCF version 1.1.zip. And I'm just going to download it to open, but you can save the file. It'll open it up, and what you want to do is with whatever program you want to use, WinZip, 7-Zip, extract it to your desktop or where you're going to be storing it. Remember, this doesn't install an actual program. It installs an exe file, which you're going to have to run every time you want to do it. Close everything up, apart from your Discord, and now you've got to make sure that your developer mode is turned on. You can find that in the advanced settings here. If it's off, turn it on. This will allow you to get the ID. Then right-click the person you want to reverse image search. In this case, my friend, copy ID. Go to where you extracted the folder. You should see it here. Open the folder up, and you should see an exe file that says run me. Open it. If you have an antivirus, it may scan this first, but it's fine. Most antiviruses are fine with it. Now, as you can see, it opens up with a little ASCII R to DCF and a prompt, enter target ID. Okay. Press Control V, and there you go. Before we continue, I, might, I just want to explain what the color codes are. Red is an error, so if it, the user doesn't exist, or if you didn't put in a correct ID, it will return red, an error, and it will tell you what's wrong. Blue is a user input, and green is just explaining what's happening in the code right now. If you see any white, just ignore it. Press enter, and it will just do its thing. This may take a while, but it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it's just doing its thing. Here we go. AVG has decided to block it <coughs> so that it doesn't change PFP image.png. This is how it uploads it. This is a perfect example of how an antivirus might try and protect your computer. I'm going to allow it and then run my program again. Put in the ID and now we wait. What it will do is it will open two websites. Lookupguru.com, which will explain the user ID, the account, how long it's been up, creation date, with a little link to the profile image as well. You can star it, whatever. And then Yandex Images. This is a reverse image search website. And if it's a real life person or some art, like here, it will show you the most likely original source. And that's it. Now, I'll let you do it again. If you just exit out of it, if you want to run it again, just double click run, put an ID. It's that simple. 